Hippocrates said over 2,000 years ago that all diseases stem from the gut. And I believe to this day that he stood the test of time. Because all diseases, one way or another, will cause inflammation in everything from the way we digest our food, from our flora, from our probiotics, from that good bacteria, that is definitely tied into our brain, tied into the immune system. And today, we look at many diseases from heart disease to diabetes to autoimmune diseases, as well as skin diseases, are all tied back into the gut. And when you look at the world's population, almost 8 billion people living right now on this planet, the percentages of these people, it may be 70%, 80%, 90%, I don't know. But imagine all these people who are eating processed and refined carbohydrates, sugars, sodium, preservatives, those foods on the shelves, and what they're doing to their intestine, causing inflammation. And then we wonder why there are so many diseases like heart disease and diabetes and obesity. Why are we experiencing all these problems? Because of what we eat. And science has already proven over and over again that most chronic metabolic diseases are believed to begin in the gut. And long-term inflammation is thought to be the driving force. And now I wanna review with you these signs and symptoms of what a toxic gut can be doing to your health. Constipation. Millions and millions of people are going through this day after day. And this can lead to bloating, gas, as well as pain within your intestinal region. And because of those continued processed foods and lack of fiber, this can be the culprit. And you need to increase your fiber foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, along with drinking much more water. Chronic GI discomfort is a major epidemic worldwide. High levels of fat, fried foods, alcohol, caffeine, artificial sweeteners, gluten, as well as dairy for many others, can lead to abdominal bloating gas, IBS, heartburn, as well as nausea. If you've been on antibiotics, this will alter your gut microbiome. This will put you at a risk of nutrient deficiencies. The antibiotics will not only attack the bacteria that you're trying to address, but it will eat up the good bacteria in your gut. And you must supplement those probiotics to build up that colony within your gut. That is the strength of your immune system. And feed it with those fermented foods kimchi and sauerkraut, yogurt, kefir, and you must eat those prebiotics, those healthy fibers in the fruits and vegetables because those prebiotics are gonna feed those probiotics. If you have heartburn or acid reflux, it's most likely the foods that you're eating. Your stomach and esophagus is part of your digestive tract. Gastric reflux will be triggered with coffee, chocolate, alcohol, greasy foods, highly processed sugary foods, and you need to eat smaller meals. Don't eat within three hours before you go to bed and lay on your left side. That will help the emptying of your stomach. If you're depressed and always in a poor mood, the problem can be stemming from your gut. 95% of serotonin resides in the gut. And if your microbiome is weakened, you're going to produce less serotonin, which will lead to disturbances of your sleep and mood. Consuming foods with tryptophan serves as a precursor to serotonin production. As serotonin plays a role in intestinal motility, bone metabolism, and immune reaction. And if you're having frequent gas, this can be a sign of a functional gastrointestinal disorder, such as GERD or IBS. You need to reduce the carbonated beverages, as well as reducing the gastric irritants like chocolate, garlic, alcohol, spicy foods, greasy fatty foods, and large portions. Try not to drink with your meals. You're diluting those enzymes. Although other foods like beans, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli can cause excessive gas. Bad breath is called halitosis. And this commonly comes from odor-inducing microbes that reside in between your teeth and gums, as well as your tongue. And having less optimal gut flora can commonly lead to this bad breath. Food allergies and sensitivities commonly comes from leaky gut syndrome. This is when your gut barrier is compromised and your gut barrier is your gatekeeper that decides what gets in and what stays out of your digestive system. And when the gut becomes more inflamed, it can become more permeable since those proteins that escape through the gut, the body starts to attack it. The immune system kicks up. 
thinking that those are invaders in our body. And that commonly will lead to many symptoms like eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and even diabetes having high blood sugar is connected to the gut. The research shows that the Journal of Endocrinology Connections shows that there's a direct link between gut bacteria and type 2 diabetes. A weakened immune system is commonly seen with a toxic gut, as an unhealthy gut will increase the systemic inflammation and alter the proper functioning of the immune system. This can lead to autoimmune diseases, where the body starts to attack itself rather than harmful invaders. Getting sick often is directly tied into your gut. 70 to 80% of your immune system resides in your gut area. And if your gut microbiota is in perfect health, the friendly bacteria in your body produces mucus that keeps harmful bacteria, toxins, and viruses from hurting you. And this pushes them out of your body. Having a healthy gut also helps your immunity by allowing your digestive system to absorb the maximum nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from the food that you eat. And if you're having trouble losing weight, look at the gut. Because most likely your gut is toxic and you're probably eating excessive amounts of processed and refined sugars. That's inflammatory. Your gut has a direct relationship with your metabolism. And if your gut is sluggish, you're going to have a hard time losing weight. Frequent yeast infections is an imbalance of your gut environment. Yeast thrives on sugar. You need to cut out those sugars because you're feeding the bad bacteria which will make the condition worse. And particularly after using antibiotics, this will make yeast infections even worse. You must supplement those probiotics to build that flora. Insomnia or difficulty sleeping is also commonly seen with a toxic gut. Remember that the majority of serotonin known as the happy hormone is produced in your gut. So poor gut health will affect your sleep. So look at your gut as your second brain. You need to take care of your main brain Otherwise, your body's not going to function at all. Remember, your gut has a direct relationship with every tissue, gland, organ in your body. Excessive sugars get converted into fat. And you start a whole vicious cycle of inflammation, heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune problems, fogginess, difficulty sleep and difficulty with our digestion. The list goes on. Here's the bottom line. You need to take better care of your body now. Start cutting out those sugars, those processed refined foods. Eat more fiber, those prebiotics to feed the probiotics. Get your sleep, exercise, hydrate, keep a positive mental attitude. Start doing what's good for you. So now is the best time to take care of yourself. Are you fed up from the way that you feel? You notice that the medicine is not getting you well, whatever you're taking, get to the root, get to the causation of your core, your gut, and start taking better care of it. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.